Travel day! This is our place. These might be my seats. I have just landed at Melbourne Airport. The best soup in the world. Some crazy flavours of cereal. So I'll show you around the villa a little bit. Welcome to a Clary Tale and welcome to Travel Day! I am so excited because I'm about to go to Florida for two weeks. If you are new here, my name is Claire. We go to Florida a lot, but we also go to other places too. We just love to travel. We love exploring new countries, new cities, and we love to go back to our favorites as well, Florida being one of them. I have got many vlog series on this channel now. We've got European city breaks. We've got Florida vlogs, cruise vlogs. So do make sure you're subscribed so you can see it all and see any future trips as well. So I'm heading to Florida tomorrow and my parents will be flying out a day later. I am very lucky in that I get six weeks off work but unfortunately Simon only gets four so he is saving those weeks for some future trips, some future plans that we've got. Stay tuned to see all of those and I'm just going to be going with my parents this time. I won't be vlogging the entire trip, I just thought I would vlog favourite days, park days, travel day. So I do hope you enjoy this series. So I am flying with Tui from Manchester Airport to Melbourne, Florida. Simon and I did this route last year but I wasn't vlogging so I thought I'd vlog it this time so that you're able to see in case you are doing this route as well. My flight was only £395 return, which is just amazing for Florida. I am slightly off peak, so that is why. And also, I don't have a suitcase. I am only taking hand luggage. As some of you know, my parents do have a villa out there, so last time I was there, I did leave some clothes and toiletries, so I should be okay, fingers crossed. So I've got a solo travel day ahead of me, Come and join me. Let's head to Florida. Let's start the music montage and go to the airport. You were always overthinking every little step that you would ever take. As we grew older, you couldn't stop tying yourself into way too many knots. Just relax. Right, we are here at Manchester it's Airport. People who work for Turi have goofy hats and there's someone with Minnie Mouse ears, there's balloons. So I think it's the first Florida of the season. It was when I was searching for flights anyway. There's balloons everywhere. I love it. Relax and feel the flow. It's time for you to let it all go. Catch the waves as they're rolling in. Reach up higher and go follow the sun. Let the breeze come and drift away. Can you feel the fire as you follow? Follow the sun. I'm here. I'm at Manchester Airport. Get me on that plane. I am so excited. I can already smell that sweet Floridian air. <laughs> Check-in was really smooth, although I did get stopped at security, so that did take a while. I stupidly left my GoPro in my suitcase. Very annoying. I'm usually quite good with things like that, but it just slipped my mind on this occasion, but it was fine. I had plenty of time. I was here three hours before, so I've done a bit of shopping. I bought a new book. I got the flat share. Everyone always talks about this, so looking forward to starting that on the plane. And then I got some drinks and some food. And uh, yeah, I've got an hour now until the flight. Oh, I bought some earrings as well. These are from Accessorize. I always do a bit of shopping and accessorize these days before a flight. It's like my new tradition. So I got these little loops with sparkles and I thought they were very Disney. So I can wear them in Magic Kingdom. Eek. One hour, six minutes. 
This is our plane. I got this one as well. So I'm currently deciding which one to start with, but I should get both done on this trip. And these are my plain sweets of choice. Very granddad-esque, but I do love them. I'm at the gate now. So as you know, this flight was really good price. So I decided to pay the upcharge to get extra leg room. It was only 25 pounds and it just hopefully have a more comfortable flight. Basically, I wasn't going to, but the seat they allocated me for free was right in the middle of the middle aisle. It's a 333 and it's right in the middle. And when I'm on my own, I don't really like to be in the middle. I like to have an aisle seat just so that I can control standing up, going to the loo, all that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, this should be so much better. I'm so glad I've done it. And for 25 quid, such a bargain. It's, it's well worth it. I think I'm gonna be on an emergency exit and I'm on the aisle with extra leg room, so should be great. It is the time of the flight now, 10 to 10. Oh, are we boarding? We might have started boarding now, but I think we're gonna be a little bit delayed. Take a breath, and your worried thoughts will slowly fade away. Live in the moment, don't look back. I think these might be my seats. Look at the leg room. I'm hoping this is my row. Yes, it is. Row 30. How good is this? So this is similar to what we did on Virgin on our last trip. So on our seat was this massive bottle of water. So that's really good. Our TV screens are in here. So I'll show you that when we take off. Look at all this leg room. It's amazing. This is well worth 25 pounds. So this is what the screen looks like. We're about to watch the safety briefing on these. So this will have to go away now for takeoff, but I just thought I'd quickly see what new releases there are. Oh, similar to the Virgin Flight then, so Thor, Elvis, Encanto. Nothing too exciting. I might just read my book. I've decided to go for the flat share. To be honest, there isn't a lot of choice of movies, so definitely download your own or bring a book for a two-way flight. We are 20 minutes delayed, not too bad. So our dinner has arrived. We've got red roll, crackers, We've got cheese and butter and the main meal is chicken and rice i didn't get a choice uh, but it looks all right and then there is the cheesecake as well just relax and feel the flow it's time for you to let it all go i'm doing really well on the book and we've just been given our afternoon tea we've got sandwiches and a little salted caramel tiffin bar we have landed. Just walk straight past everybody because I'm not picking up baggage. Yes. I have just landed at Melbourne Airport. That flight was amazing. I'll tell you a lot more information when I've got a second, but I'm just getting picked up now. My friend is coming to pick me up. So I'll tell you more about the flight later. Just walked out of the airport. They've got loads of transfers here available. Oh my gosh, that heat is beautiful. I have missed this so much. I need to take this jumper off. What am I still doing wearing it? Mountain Dew Baja Blast. I have been dreaming of you and all your artificial colors. <laughs> We're here at Target. We're gonna get some essentials. I'm in the villa on my own for a while tomorrow. So I'm gonna get some lunch and some dinner and some snacks. Just come into Target. I do love it here. I'm gonna have a good little look around. Oh, we've got all the Easter chocolate. <gasps> Ghirardelli's. What have we got? Caramel bunnies. Sea salt caramel. What are these? Neapolitan lint. Oh my gosh, that is so good. Have we got the plain caramel? Oh yeah, right, I'm gonna get some of those. 
what are they milk chocolate caramel brownie it's so funny seeing mini eggs in this country especially when they're in a purple packet it does say though look at this it has on it Hershey so it's not gonna taste like our British Cadbury what are those ones rainbow mini eggs what's the difference I think it's just rainbow colored shells big stand of peeps we do not have these in the UK so they're just marshmallows basically we've got some lint bunnies and a load of Reese's peanut butter eggs and we've got some cookie houses <laughs> little Easter houses and a beehive I like looking at all the seasonal bits as you come into Target they've got some really cute things a load of little cute spring stuff oh a little ducky how cute is he oh my gosh there's an even cuter one <laughs> got a bunny Oh, and these, oh it's heavy, some eggs, I will have a look at all the Disney bits, all the clothing another time, but we are heading straight to the food. I've come to the food side now, we're going to come back here and get my birthday cake on my birthday, I might go and have a little look and see what they've got. Uh, but I just saw these as well. How good is this? You can decorate your own little Easter eggs, sugar cookie Easter eggs. I've got loads more Easter chocolates. I've got Ferrero Rocher eggs. More, loads more peeps. Oh, is this that famous drink that everybody's talking about? The Prime. So, I was going to look at the pre made Caesar salads or something for tomorrow. Oh, they've got Panera soup. <gasps> broccoli cheddar this is literally the best soup in the world it's quite a lot of it too right I'm gonna get that how much is that 5.69 they sell the Panera uh, mac and cheese here as well <laughs> that's really tasty chicken tortilla soup baked potato soup autumn squash no I'm definitely gonna get this and then the salads they used to do these amazing Caesar salad wraps. Oh, is that it? Caesar salad wrap. I think that might be it. Four ninety-nine. Um, or a sandwich. Oh, look at the sandwiches. That looks really good. They've got some cute Eastery sugar cookies. I know these are really popular at home. Everyone loves a sugar cookie. I love these cupcakes. It's so tasty, I'll definitely get some while I'm here. Oh, these are the, the classic sugar cookies, frosted. <laughs> right, what cakes have they got then? They've got some funky, oh, there's a Mickey one. And a car, Mickey and a car. Minnie Mouse. Maybe we get something like this. $20 double layer chocolate round cake with buttercream. Maybe something like that we get. Let's see what's there. Oh, they have such a huge selection actually. Oh, this might be good. A cookies and cream Oreo cake for a birthday cake. Sounds good to me. I'm gonna get a loaf so that I can maybe have some toast tomorrow. The only thing about American bread is that it is just a little bit sweeter than our bread. Oh my gosh, the British section always makes me laugh. We've got Heinz beans, $2.59, that's not too bad. HP sauce, chocolate bars, $1.69. Crackers, <gasps> we've got squash for $4.69 for some Robinsons. Ribena is $6.29. Yorkshire tea for $8.89, that's crazy. Right, I need to find butter next for my bread. The butter. Oh, they've got Kerrygold. I might get that actually because is it the same sort of price? Yeah. And it's 3 dollars 
I'm coming down the soda aisle, guys. It means only one thing. We're getting some Mountain Dew. Here we go. What flavors have they got, actually? They've got Melon, Diet, Spark. It's gotta be the original and the best. How much is that? $7.19. And I think I'll get some drops here as well. I usually bring the Robinson's drops, but I didn't this time. Might go for one of these. I'm gonna get some crisps to go with my soup. Actually, what new Pringles are there? Are there any new flavors? Pizza, doesn't look like it actually. Right, I'm thinking of getting some Lay's because Lay's are the best. Oh, here we go, classic. You just can't beat Lay's. Do you know what though, they're expensive. 4 29 for a bag. Do they have, oh actually, I'm gonna go for salt and vinegar. I'm gonna pick up some water. 119 I might get two of these purified oh look here's that prime again has anyone had this before orange mango lemon lime let me know what it's like below right while I'm over here I'm gonna get some milk for my cereal I always get the one percent here it's kind of like skin milk over here is so thin like our skin milk is more like 1% so I'm gonna get 1% cereal aisle they do have some crazy flavors of cereal in this country right I'm gonna get some special K what flavors have they got red berries oat crunch vanilla and almond this is what i'm gonna get cereal in this country seems so expensive so this is 5.29 there's a cereal for 8.29 isn't that crazy in little it's like a pound <laughs> right my brother has told me to look out for the new flavor of pop tarts it doesn't look like it doesn't look like it's here no, it's not here. Right, checking my list. Cereal, milk, loaf, butter, lunch. Oh, toothpaste. So because I only had hand luggage, I didn't pack any toothpaste, but I knew I needed to buy some anyway. This is the one I get. You may have found me down the candy aisle. <laughs> Where else would I be? <laughs> I'm gonna see if there's any new M&M flavors. I'm gonna get some Hershey Hugs. These are my favorites. I know so many Brits hate Hershey's, but Hershey Hugs, because they're wrapped in the white chocolate, it just makes the sort of cocoa-y taste so much sweeter, and I love them. Any new flavors? Always on the search for new flavors. Almond, caramel. What's that one? Brownie. Peanut butter. We've got crunchy cookie I'm gonna buy some suntan cream as well I'm in the sun tomorrow I'm just gonna chill out by the pool and this oh that's 50 is it a 30 yeah this is my favorite you just spray it on you don't have to rub it in it's so so good right I'm gonna get that I'm actually back over at the fresh salad section because I've decided to get a Caesar salad just in case I think my parents are gonna be quite late home tomorrow so I want to make sure I've got enough food I was thinking of getting this little Caesar salad to go with my soup $3.99 yeah I'll get that the packaging of this cream egg looks so retro who remembers when our cream eggs had green on them as well they have so much Easter stuff for kids oh a little elephant this is such a good idea Easter baskets oh that's gorgeous right let's go then oh i'm gonna do a, a last minute add-on for some chapstick <laughs> good 
evening let's catch you up so the flight was amazing some of the best service i've ever had to be honest with you tui were incredible i think it was an extra special flight because it was the first disney the first florida flight of the season and um, everybody had mickey ears on they had mickey pinnies on as well and it was just really special everyone was really excited that like, they were so chatty and talkative with us all and i just loved it and it was someone's birthday one of the crew's birthday so we were all singing happy birthday and it was just an atmosphere i've never had on a plane before and um, so yeah really enjoyed that they all kept us really up to date with things as well so there were so many announcements going on about what's coming next what service is next and um, they even told us that the next 30 minutes the crew's going to be on a break so you know if you need anything come here and do this and it just was just the communication was another level i've just not experienced that before and then the seats that i oh the seat i was in as you saw it was so comfortable i spent the whole flight reading i've pretty much nearly finished that first book so yeah i've had it was a really good flight then when i landed the heat just hit me and isn't that just the best feeling in the world honestly you cannot beat it when you're from when i've had what five months of cold uk weather when that heat hit me even yesterday i was working with a hot water bottle on my lap and then because it's so cold in england just coming into this country and having the heat that floridian heat hit you just the best feeling in the world i love it so much and then landing in melbourne itself it's so smooth you don't have to walk very far either it's all brand new and it's just so brilliant you land and go straight to baggage so that you pick up your baggage straight away which tends to be quite good because then not everybody is piling in to security and the you know passport control instead it's kind of filtered through because people are waiting for their suitcases and then go into passport control so it's not as crazy busy i was really lucky obviously i just bypassed the baggage and went straight to security and had zero weight i did not wait at all and when you think about mco when you're standing there in that hot room for two hours waiting to be seen i walked straight up to security it was an empty room so it was pretty amazing so yeah i really it, it's a little hidden gem flying into melbourne i came out of melbourne and mine and simon's friend kindly came to pick me up and we went to taco bell as you saw and went to target i got the staples my mountain dew <laughs> now i got some milk cereal some lunches some snacks uh, because tomorrow my parents land but they don't land until later on so i'm gonna be staying in the villa tomorrow having a pool day i've got enough food so i'm just gonna have a nice relaxing day in the sunshine go in the pool can't wait i'm not gonna vlog tomorrow but i will vlog the next day because that's my birthday so i have filmed the villa before uh, but if you are new here i'll do a little quick look around so that you can see that and if you aren't new and you've seen this a hundred times you can skip over this i know this will be repetitive but obviously whenever I come to Florida I'll be staying here so that's why it's always going to be the same uh, so yeah you can skip over this if you've seen it before so I'll show you around the villa a little bit so I've just gone around putting all the lights on because it's getting dark now so when you come in you've got the dining table and living room over there they always set the table the company that looks after the villa for us when we're away i don't know whether it's an american thing uh, this is the kitchen they've set this table to i'll put it away so they don't collect any dust or anything this is the kitchen and the garage is through there and then through here is the pool let me show you this i am extremely excited about a pool day tomorrow gonna get the furniture out get all the chairs out have a relaxing day and then I'll show you the bedrooms so this is my mum and dad's room and they have an ensuite 
with a walk in a shower. The shower's amazing. It's so powerful compared to the British showers. Walk-in closet and a locked closet there as well. And then back through here and back through the villa, we've got my brother's bedroom, which is in here. And they have a wardrobe as well. We've got the toilet in between the two and shower. And this is my bedroom. So yeah, and I've got this wardrobe, which is locked. I better turn all these lights off now. Little villa tour for you there. I'm feeling so happy, so thankful to be here. Honestly, it's like, it's like a second home to me and those feelings of just everything's so familiar and it just makes me happier than I can even explain. I'm starting to feel tired now. You can probably tell my eyes are getting heavier. It's eight o'clock and I woke up at 5.30 UK time. So yeah, I'm really feeling it now. I'm gonna head to bed soon after a shower. I really hope you enjoyed coming along with me on travel day. And especially if you're looking at coming with Tui, let me know below if you're looking to do that. I highly recommend them. I've just had such a great travel day. Stay tuned because the next vlog, I'm not not filming tomorrow when my parents get here but I'll film the day after which is my birthday so stay tuned for a birthday vlog we're gonna do some special things I'm gonna film a couple of part days as well so make sure you hit that subscribe button to see it all thank you so much for watching please like this video if you did subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you next time bye <laughs>